Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Good evening. So we are just three in the meeting. We are going to wait for the others. <clears throat> Vamos a esperar um, a que se vayan uniendo los demás. En un minuto o dos, cuando ya hayan más eh, eh, personas, vamos a comenzar con la sesión. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel? I feel good, but I am, I don't know, it's weird because I feel good, but I know that I am kind of sick. So if you can hear my my voice is kind of I don't know weird, but I left. <clears throat> but today is Thursdays. Don't worry. Yes, it's almost the end of the of the week. You're gonna be better on weekend. I hope so. I hope so. But it's like a part of the job, uh, because I am a teacher, and you know that when you are working with a big group. You need to use your voice, so it's it's normal to be in this way a lot of times. Yeah, I know, teacher. And thanks, teacher, for the, your double effort. Don't worry. That you do with the team. Don't you have worry. to work hard with the team. Yes, this is Thank for you, you so also. Much. Thanks to you too, because you are giving your time to these courses. Yeah, I think so. This is important for us. Yes, of course. So welcome to the others that are coming to the meeting right now. We are um, waiting for uh, the other participants so we can uh, begin with uh, this session. You know, this is the last session of this week. This is the second week. So we are in the middle of the course. So we are just going to have uh, two more weeks. But in this case, we are going to have one more week and then we are going to <clears throat> have a, one week of vacation <laughs> and then we are going to continue with the work in the last week to complete the course so we are going to end today the section number three we are going to uh, begin with the last part of the section three that is a uh, reading part <coughs> i'm sorry is the reading part we are going to read something we are going to analyze the information that we have on that reading part. We are going to make the um, knowledge check of the section number three. And then we are going to focus on the midterm. Así que vamos a terminar la sección número tres hoy. Vamos a comenzar con la parte de la lectura. Vamos a analizar un poco de la lectura. Vamos a, a discutir un poco de las ideas que aparecen ahí. Y eh, también vamos a enfocarnos en lo que es el examen, el meter. Para los que no lo han hecho, pues esta es la oportunidad para que puedan avanzar con el examen. Para los que ya lo hicieron, excellent and good job. But we are going to make like uh, some review of the exercises that we are going to find on the meter. Así que vamos a enfocarnos en eso. Vamos a ir viendo algunas partes porque... Eh, el examen también está relacionado con los temas que ya vimos durante las sesiones. So we are going to remember some um, details about the topics that we were learning uh, during the week. Or even during the two weeks that we are right now, because um, we have topics from week number one and also from week number two. So I think we are going to begin right now. Uh, I think we um, don't have all of the members, but we are going to begin because we have just one hour to complete all the work that we are going to do. So let me go to the platform first because we are going to see the last part of the topic. Mm, we are going to perform a reading exercise. And in this case, it's called the world in one neighborhood. And it says that we are going to read the article. Then we are going to check the things that you can uh, find in Astoria. 
Uh, so we are going to read this part. We are going to analyze the details. We are going to see uh, different elements that we can find on the reading part. <clears throat> and then we are going to answer uh, the questions. Así que vamos a leer primero esta parte del reading. Vamos a hacer eh, dos cosas. The first one is that I'm going to give you time to read this. Eh, it is not like uh, an article. Yes, it is like an article. Uh, we are going to read eh, the eh, ideas that we have here on the article. And then eh, I'm going to read for you also the article. And we are going to like take some details about the information that we have on the article. Then we are going to look for the details or for the parts that we need to focus on. Así que vamos a leer primero. Necesito que lo hagamos nosotros, o sea, lo van a hacer ustedes. Eh, let me see if I can do it a little. I think like this. Eh, vamos a leerlo. Eh, primero así, solitos, ¿verdad? Luego vamos a ir leyendo parte por parte. If you can see, we have three different parts here. Eh, tenemos tres partes de este artículo y vamos a ir viendo qué detalles, qué cosas encontramos en esa lectura y vamos a ir comparando con nuestra realidad. Because this um, exercise is called the world in one neighborhood. El mundo en el vecindario de uno, ¿verdad? Y si se fijan, en este estamos hablando de Astoria. Es a neighborhood in Queens in New York City. Es un lugar, ¿verdad? Que está ubicado en Queens en New York City. Así que vamos a leer, vamos a darnos unos eh, cinco minutos de lectura. I think five minutes is enough. Creo que cinco minutos sí son suficientes para que vayamos leyendo los detalles Then we are going to reread the uh, ah the knowledge check three point eleven. It's the last of the section number three. Es el último. You're welcome. So we are going to read this one, and then we are going to make like a a discussion. Five minutes, it is eight, eight. So we're going to have <coughs> eight, 13, eight, 14. Ocho, trece, ocho, catorce para ir haciendo nuestro análisis y discusión de el artículo. So we have five minutes to read and then we are going to make a discussion. Okay.
about. So we are going to <clears throat> read in one by one the, um, the different parts of this article. If you can see, it says scan the article, then check the countries that are not mentioned. <clears throat> Si nosotros simplemente eh, hacemos el escáner, ¿verdad? O solo escaneamos la información, podemos ver de qué países no se habla en, esta, uh, en, este, en este artículo. But tell me, what are one country that is not mentioned on the article? ¿Cuál es uno de los países que no se menciona en este artículo? Brasil. 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 And... Pakistán. Pakistan. Okay. Pakistan. Okay, very good. Vamos a ver. It says in the number one, the sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new son from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. It is India, China, Romania, no, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. <clears throat> Number two. The new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Number three, it isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and a good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As one longtime resident said, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. So in this article, we can uh, find like a um, very good place in which people like to live. Because if you can see in this, um, in this neighborhood, you can find a lot of things. Uh, you can find different cultures in one place. Uh, it's kind of funny when you read the part of the uh, of the second paragraph in which you said um, an Indian woman uh, buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery. It's kind of uh, weird because uh, you are not buying from someone that is Mexican. You are buying from someone that is Korean. Entonces, en este uh, artículo nos deja ver lo maravilloso que es este, um, este lugar, ¿verdad? Eh, podemos encontrar muchas culturas en un solo lugar. Y eh, vemos, ¿verdad? Que no solamente uh, hay culturas diferentes, sino que se entremezclan entre ellas, así como la parte del ejemplo, ¿verdad? Una mujer india eh, comprando tortillas mexicanas en una tienda coreana. It's like a mixture of things here, but um, it's it's interesting because it is like a very good place to live because it said that it has like a very good um, system, um, like it has like very good uh, public transportation, some stores and all of the things. Can you think about a place here in El Salvador? that can be like Astoria. ¿Hay algún lugar aquí en El Salvador que les recuerde un poco a Astoria? For different culture teachers? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm, it is like... Not, not exactly, not uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. But for, for example, when I travel 
to Huayua place in Susunat. Mm -hmm. We met we met we met with different kind of people. Yeah. And different cultures too. Of course, I was thinking about the same place. In that place, you can find uh, people from different countries that are like uh, spending some time uh, with uh, Salvadoran people. And they are like talking, dancing, eating traditional food. Uh, and it's um, incredible. Also, you can find um, different uh, people on the beaches. En la playa también podemos encontrar, ¿verdad? Eh, personas de diferentes países. Um, on the mountain, also, we can find people, but uh, we don't have, like, a very specific place like this one um, in which uh, we have, like, different uh, countries, uh, people from, oh, yes, on Tunco. It's, it's, like, the number one place to find um international people uh, but we don't have like uh, this specific place in which we can find like Korean people Mexican people Japanese people and all of those um, in the one or in the same place so it's like uh, interesting because you can uh, learn a lot of things Um, I remember that when I think it, it, it was like the last year I was teaching something related to culture to my students. And we were like um, seeing some information uh, about uh, the changes or the things that you can acquire when you travel. Oh, you have seen people from India. Wow. I think I just seeing people from United States and France, I think. Tell me, Aneida. Aneida, you raise your hands. Tell me. Downtown San Salvador. Uh, what kind of people you can find there? Oh, a lot of, of people that are, it's outside the country. Yes, it is very common to see people like that in San Salvador. <clears throat> so in that uh, class, we were talking about uh, something about uh, these changes in the culture. When we travel to another country, uh, we were like talking about U.S. Because it is like the first place to... Uh, maybe to the students or to the teenagers to think about when they say, I want to travel another country. And, oh, you have a neighborhood, a neighbor that is from Germany. Wow. <coughs> um, when I was asking them uh, which country they like to travel, they say the US. Because in some cases they have family there or they want to work on that place. But the thing is that when we travel to another country, whatever country you, you want to visit, you are going to acquire something from that place. Maybe is some uh, words. Uh, maybe is now the accent. Maybe is the food. Eh, the clothes, the music, siempre vamos a adquirir algo nuevo de los lugares a los que vamos. Si nos quedamos unos dos, tres meses en un lugar, sí o sí se nos va a, eh, no, lo podemos llamar de una manera como ah, bastante coloquial, se nos va a pegar algo de ese lugar, así como acá, que es una mezcla de culturas. Podemos eh, adquirir palabras nuevas, frases, eh, incluso podemos cambiar hasta el tono de la voz dependiendo del lugar donde nos encontremos. You know that uh, when we are talking in different languages, our tone of voice is kind of different. <coughs> in Spanish, we use a tone of voice, but in English, it's completely different. And if you are using like 
some Asian languages like Korean, you are going to change uh, a lot the tone of voice. So we can acquire all of those things. Now, ya tenemos ahí los detalles, ¿verdad? Sobre Astoria. Ahora vamos a responder. <coughs> We're going to see what elements we need for this um, this article. We're going to read the article. We already read the article. Then check the things you can find in Astoria. Vamos a marcar las cosas que podemos encontrar en Astoria. Son seis. So we have here a list of things. And you are going to tell me what are the different uh, things that we can find in Astoria. In expensive stores, yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Big apartments? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. We have two. Good schools? No. 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 It don't say anything about schools. Beautiful, beautiful beaches? No. 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 Okay. Great markets? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 We have three. Nice restaurants? Yes. 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 No. Okay. Very good. Many different cultures. Yes. 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 A lot of them. A lot of them. We have yes. five. Interesting all buildings. No. No. No, no you don't no. say anything about buildings. And good public transportation. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes of course. Okay. <coughs> Very good. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Son seis cosas que encontramos en Astoria. In expensive stores, big apartments, great markets, nice restaurants, many different cultures, and good public transportation. Okay, now we are going to go to the midterm. Vamos a ir al examen. Vamos a ir dándole tiempo a cada una de las partes. Tenemos cinco partes. Vamos a comenzar con el listening. Let me stop this one and I'm going to share again the screen with the sound. So give me a second. <coughs> We're going to listen twice the eh, audio. Vamos a escucharlo dos veces para que quede claro, ¿verdad? La información que se nos está dando en el audio. So let's listen the audio twice. <coughs> Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow, what did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet, but I still love the trip. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet, but I still loved the trip.
Okay, we have two different places. We have Australia and we have Italy. <clears throat> Antes de contestar las preguntas, what do you think about uh, Australia and Italy? What is the um, place you would like to visit someday if uh, Australia or Italy? For me, Australia, teacher. Australia. Mm. I, Italy. Italy, okay. <clears throat> I think, uh, I don't know. It's, <clears throat> I think Australia is a great place. It's amazing. Uh, you can find a lot of things, but for me, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I, <laughs> I can go there because um, I don't like, spiders and there are a lot of spiders there i think it's um <laughs> yeah it's true it's it's i don't know it's kind of silly to say i don't want to travel to that place because of a spiders but i can't stand the spiders so i don't know if i can go to australia you are right yes it's, it's i don't know it's kind of funny but let's see okay <clears throat> Vamos a ver cuáles son las respuestas. Lisa visited Australia, Austria or Korea. Australia. 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 Okay. How was the weather? Good, okay, and bad. 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 Okay. Peter visited Indonesia, India, or Italy? Italy. 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 Okay. How was the weather? Good, okay, or bad? Okay. 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 Let's see. <clears throat> okay. All of them are correct. Very good. Todas están correctas. Australia, bad. Italy, and okay. Very good. Vamos a la siguiente. <coughs> Completing the conversation. Complete the following conversations. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. You can choose um, among long good, often, and well. Aquí podemos eh, decidir, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la palabra que vamos a utilizar? Si es long, good, often, or well. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to read the questions and to decide what is the best option. Para los que ya lo hicieron, wait, wait, wait. We are going to give some eh, minutes to the others to complete this part. Don't worry. Bien, vamos a ver qué es lo que necesitamos. So, a couple of minutes, un par de minutos. Luego regresamos a dar nuestras respuestas. In this case, when you use average, um, lo pueden usar como 
el promedio no es como algo muy bueno ni muy malo, sino que es como en, en el medio. And you can uh, use like, más o menos. Eh, por eso dice, how do you play tennis above average? Es como lo normal, ¿verdad? No sobresale, pero tampoco es malo. Pero dice que está mejorando. Así que sí, pueden utilizarlo como más o menos. Okay, let's see. In the number one, how do you work out? Every day, I am a real fitness freak. <clears throat> what is the word? Long, good, often, or well? Often. <clears throat> okay, how often do you work out? Muy bien. Number two, how do you play tennis? About average, but I'm getting better and better. Long, good, often, or well? Well. well. Okay. Number three. How do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? Long. 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 Okay, long. How are you at soccer? Okay, I guess it is not really my favorite sport. How long, good, often, or well? Good. Okay, then in the second part, we have complete the conversations. Choose the correct past form of the verb given in parentheses. Vamos a completar las conversaciones. Vamos a escoger la forma correcta en pasado de los verbos en paréntesis. We have number one. Did you stay home last night? No, I didn't. En este caso, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a escoger stay or stayed con E D. Stay. 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 The same verb. Stay. The same way. Ok, vamos a ver la siguiente. What did you do? What did you did or what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Okay, what did you do? I go dancing at the new club on 8th Street. Susie and Mike were there too. I go or went? Went. 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 Okay. Oh, really? Yes, we have a great time. Had it or had? Had. 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 Okay. Had. Okay. Where be you? Where were you or where being you? Where? 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 Let me see. Number six. I be in the laundromat. 
all evening. How boring. Where or what? Was. 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 And the last one. Actually, no. I met my friend there. We spent the evening laughing and talking. We spended or spent. 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 Okay, let's check the answers. Okay, all of them are correct. Todas están correctas. Number one, often. Number two, well. Number three, long. Number four, a good. <clears throat> In the second part, number one, stay. Number two, do. Number three, went. Number four, had. Number five, where. Number six, was. And number seven, is. Ben. Ahí están las dos partes, ¿verdad? Completas. Very good. We're going to go to the part number three. Vamos a la parte número tres. <coughs> so, it says, choose the correct answer. Vamos a escoger la respuesta correcta. Again, a couple of minutes and then we're going to give the answers. Un par de minutos para pensar y luego vamos con nuestra respuesta. Ok, let's see. Vamos a ver la parte número uno. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. There is around the corner, I guess. Let me, ah, let me move this one. Give me a second. Yes, around the corner. So, in this case, there is any, one, or some. Okay, I'm so sorry. I was, uh, I don't know how, but I disconnect the, the uh, Wi-Fi connection. So I, uh, it was lost. No uh, word, did you? <laughs> aquí si no, no se me fue el internet, sino que no sé cómo lo desconecté yo. Así que lo siento por eso. So we're mm -hmm. going to continue. I'm so sorry for that. Okay. <clears throat> We were in this one. Okay. So I was asking you, what is the correct option for the number one? One. Okay. One. Okay, one. Number two, how hotels are there in the in this neighborhood? How many. not much, how many, or how a few? How many? many. many. How, how many? Okay, how many? Then there are a little, much, a few. <laughs> there are a few. A few. A few. A few. A few. Okay. 
Then we have two more. Is there much, many, one public transportation near here? Much. 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 Okay. No, there isn't. Uh, any. There is, any. Oh, okay, any. Any. There isn't any. any. Let's see. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Ahí está. Number one, one. Number two, many. Number three, a few. Number four, much. Number five, any. Very good. Vamos a la siguiente. Y estamos a dos de completar este meter. So, we are going to rewrite the uh, word, I mean, the sentence. So, we are going to put the words in the correct order to make sentence or questions. Vamos a reordenar esas oraciones para crear ya sea una oración o una pregunta. For this one, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to rewrite the statement and the questions. And then you are going to give me the answer. So, we are going to have a couple of minutes. Okay, we are going to write the uh, statements. Vamos a ver cómo nos quedaron esas oraciones. In the number one, we have the following words. Dinner, often, TV, I, watch, and after. ¿Cómo nos queda la primera oración? I often. I often watch. TV. Uh, after dinner. Okay, after dinner. It doesn't say that we don't need period. No dice si necesita. Oh, we have the period. So, no vamos a poner punto. Muy bien. <coughs> Number two, we have in, you, coffee, the, do, drink, ever, question mark, evening. ¿Cómo nos queda esa pregunta? Do you ever drink? You. Do, do you, drink do you, ah, ah. 
Do you ever drink ever drink coffee in the evening? In the evening. Okay. Okay, okay. Then we have the following words. Very, doesn't, Jeff, much, exercise. What is the uh, sentence? Jeff doesn't. Okay, Jeff doesn't. Very much exercise. Very much exercise. Okay, let's see. Oh, we don't have all of them correct. La última no está correcta. Why? What do you think is the problem? We miss exercise, teacher. Uh, after, after a dozen. After a dozen. It's not at the end. Okay. Jeff, Jeff, does, la... Jeff doesn't exercise. Ah, doesn't exercise very much. Very much, yeah. Okay, very much. Let's see. Oh, that is the correct answer. Very good. <laughs> okay, ahí tenemos nuestras tres oraciones. Number one, I often watch TV after dinner. Number two, do you ever drink coffee in the evening? And number three, Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Very good. Vamos con la última parte. Readings. <clears throat> We're going to read a letter. And this one is uh, Ruth's letter. Oh, my God. It's kind of it's small. Let me take this one like this. <clears throat> Vamos a hacerlo un poco más grande. Okay, I think I can do it kind of big like this. It's kind of right, weird. This. Okay, we're going to read the letter, but let me see. We're going to uh, read the letter and then we are going to check for true eh, el statement. Vamos a buscar cuatro oraciones verdaderas de esta carta. Vamos a comenzar. It says, Beckley is a great city. I really like it here. There is always lots to do every day after class. I walk down Telegraph Avenue. Give me a second. Give me a second. Mucho que esto sí cuesta leerlo. to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. <clears throat> I love the shops and restaurants and it's a great city for jogging or in live skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown to have lunch, and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sports event, like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope you hope to hear from you soon. Love, Ruth. <coughs> okay, aquí está escribiéndole Ruth a Ted. Le dice que Beckerly es una ciudad muy buena. A ella le gusta mucho ese lugar. Hay siempre muchas cosas que hacer. Todos los días después de clases, ella camina hacia la avenue, ave, the Telegraph Avenue. Los nombres los vamos a mantener iguales. I always, uh, 
siempre me gusta ir a mi eh, cafetería favorita en las tardes y ver a mis amigos ahí para tomarnos un café. En la tarde hay siempre algo interesante que hacer en la ciudad o cerca de la universidad. Por ejemplo, a veces vemos películas eh, internacionales o escuchamos música en vivo. <coughs> Los sábados, mis amigos y yo usualmente tomamos el bus a San Francisco por el día. Eh, amamos lo, las tiendas y restaurantes y es una gran ciudad para correr, o sea, para trotar y para hacer inline skating. Estoy volviéndome muy buena en eso. En el Golden Gate Park siempre vamos a Chinatown eh, para almorzar y luego vamos a caminar o comprar en la tarde. El domingo a veces me gusta jugar tenis con los amigos o vamos a ver eh, eventos deportivos. Me gustan los juegos, los juegos de fútbol y los juegos o, o el básquetbol en la televisión. Pienso que el fútbol americano es muy emocionante. Bueno, eso es todo por ahora. Cuídate y espero escuchar de ti pronto. Con amor, Ruth. <coughs> That is the letter. We have a lot of things. Um, but we are going to see what or these things are true. Vamos a ver cuáles de estas son verdaderas. It says, she walks down Telegraph Avenue every day after class, true or false? True. True, true. okay. True. She meets her friends for coffee in the evening, true or false? True. true. False. False. <laughs> She meets in, uh -huh. in the afternoon, teacher. I think okay. So. Yes, it's false. False. False, okay. She sometimes dance to live music. True or false? False. False. False, false. okay. She enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. True, true, true. True, true. okay. She doesn't like inline skating. False. 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 Okay. She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturdays. True. 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 Okay. She plays tennis with friends every Sunday. False. 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 Okay. She likes to watch football and basketball on TV. True. 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 And let's see. Vamos a ver. Oh, very good. Todas ellas están correctas. En la número uno tenemos true. Number two, false. Number three, false. Number four, true. Number five, false. Number six, true. Number seven, false. And number eight, True. So, um, we have completed uh, the section number three, and also we have completed the, um, the midterm. Ya terminamos lo que es la sección tres y el examen final. For the ones that didn't complete the, uh, the section one, two, and three with the midterm, remember that tomorrow, um, It's going to be like a check-in. Va a haber como un chequeo del progreso que llevan ustedes. Así que para el día de mañana ustedes ya tienen que tener completo la sección 1, 2, 3 con el examen. Para eh, que no vayan a tener problemas con lo del certificado y todo eso al final del curso. Así que para mañana ustedes ya tienen que tener esto. Ya les ponía yo en el documento, al inicio del documento, la lista de reproducción eh, de los videos donde ustedes pueden ir viendo, ¿verdad? Eh, los check, eh, los knowledge check que hemos eh, resuelto porque los resolvemos en la sesión. Y así ustedes pueden ir contestando, ¿verdad? Eh, los knowledge check que les hacen falta, si es que les hace falta alguno. Eh, if Some of you has problems with the platform or with some exercise you can ask on the group and also you can ask on the session. Si tienen problemas con los ejercicios, 
eh, con la plataforma o con algo por el estilo, ustedes pueden preguntar tanto en la sesión como en el grupo de WhatsApp y se les va a orientar con esas cosas. So, we are going to uh, begin on a Monday the section number four. Vamos a comenzar el lunes con la sección número cuatro y estaríamos empezando nuestra semana número tres. Al finalizar nuestra semana número tres, nos va a quedar solo una semana, o sea, cuatro días, para completar el curso. Así que estamos in the middle of the... Um, The module, so we are going to end very quick. Okay, we are going to end here the meeting. We are going to stop here because it's time. Um, <clears throat> and I want to say to you, thank you for your time. Have a really good night. Have a really good weekend because we are going to see each other on Monday in the session number nine of the week number three. So have a really good night and see you on Monday. You too, teacher. Keep up better. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. See you. Good night. Good night. Good weekend, classmates. Good night. Good night. Have a nice good night. weekend.